Welcome to this episode of Ask the Guitar Coach. Here's our question for the day. In what order should I learn the various minor keys on the guitar? A really, really good question. I'm very happy to get the question and have the chance to answer it. Um, basically, when someone starts learning the scales, he has to learn like a large number of scales and it might be a little bit perplexing to see which is the best way to learn those. Do you learn first the C minor? Do you learn first the A minor? So here's what I do with my students. The same thing as I do with the different modes is I teach the scales in the order that I find they're mostly used in music. So the most widely used, you will learn this first. Then the least, a little bit less widely used. Then less, less, less. So the most important scales are always taught first. The most usual uh, scale, minor scales that you will see on the guitar are the ones that are, correspond to the open strings of the guitar. So, E minor, A minor, D minor, the bass strings. Usually, I would suggest first you learn A minor, then E minor, and then D minor. So this should be step number one. When you have those three uh, scales under your belt or actually under your hands and you can play them perfectly well then it's time to move on to the next step which is the minor scale for the next uh, three strings and also pay attention here the minor scale of the relative major scale of the open three bass notes so for the three strings here you would have G minor and then B minor, okay? And now moving back to the bass notes, we need to fi find the relative minor scale of each one of those strings if these strings are the major scale. So E major, we we'll find the relative minor, which be C sharp minor. Then A major, which would be F sharp minor, okay? And then again, D major, which would be B minor, but we've already learned B minor here. So, I understand this can be a little bit involved, so let's have a look at it again. First you learn A minor, E minor, and D minor for those three strings. Then you learn G minor and B minor. So by now you have five scales, okay, in this order. And now you move again back up here, and you take the three bass strings, you consider them major, the root of the major scale and you find it's relative minor. So you'd learn E major, which would be C sharp minor, okay, and A major, which would be F sharp minor. So by now, you have learned seven scales, seven minor scales, and these are going to take care of probably 90% of all the songs and all the pieces and all the um, performance requirements that you will find, especially if you're playing rock music. However, there are a few more that are left that you should practice, but definitely first focus on the ones that we talked about. Now moving on to step number three, the most uh, rare, let's say, minor scale, you should start by learning first B flat minor, then F minor, then G sharp minor, and then C minor. Out of those four scales, the C minor scale is the more used one. We have seen a few pieces that use the scale, but once again, these are going to be level three, the least widely used scales. So there you have it. This is the optimum order that I have found on that you can learn the various minor scales in. Uh, if you learn the scales in this order, it's going to be easiest for you because you're going to find lots of use for the each scale that you learn. I hope this was helpful and clarified this specific issue and I will see you on the next episode of Us, the Guitar Coach.